you need to remember this value most of the time if you are a structural engineer. But uh, we have some little mistake here. This unit bound cubic feet. This dimension in inch. This dimension in inch. Does not make any sense? You need to divide by 12. You need to divide by 12. Then I can tell you what is the value of your dead loop or on weight of your beam. Your value will be Two hundred ninety-one point six seven bound per foot, or point three cap per foot. We ignore the you ignore what? rebar or steel. Uh, this gamma for reinforced concrete, including reinforcement. If you are talking about, I think. Uh, plain concrete without reinforcement, this value will be smaller than 120 or something like this. So 150 including reinforcement. So right now, your dead load equal 0.3 cap bare foot. Your dead load in this beam on weight of the beam. If you would like to get the on weight of your beam, B H time gamma of concrete. Your life load equal given to cap bare foot. Your W, ultimate, equal 1.2, your dead load, plus 1.6, your life load. You can get your ultimate factored load. Three point five cap per foot. So your M ultimate equal W L squared divide eight. Do you remember if you have similar supported beam with distributed load, <coughs> your moment will be W L squared over eight. Your W ultimate three point five. Your L squared twenty squared <coughs> divided by eight. Your value will be. One hundred seventy five cap foot according to structure analysis results. The ultimate moment on this beam as a structure analysis equal one hundred seventy five cap foot. This value coming from factor dilute your dead time one point two, your life time one point six. You can get your factor to load. From factor to load and the structure analysis, W square over 8, I can tell you what is the value of M out. <coughs> what do you think? What's the next step? Where does that 20 come from? The length of the beam? Which 20? Uh, WL squared? Your length. Okay. What will be the next step? You have two options. Do you remember? You can assume area steel, or you can get your uh, row required. Let's do it row required. M, uh, I'm sorry, Rn equals M ultimate over phi B depth. I forgot something here. Your depth of steel reinforcement maybe something 17 for example and you have here 
3 inch cover. This value can be assumed. 2 to 3 inch. So your M ultimate, 175, divided by phi, assume it 0.9, B, 14, depth, 17. We have something wrong here. Which wrong? Keeps for food. Yeah, your unit. This one kept foot. This one inch, inch. This one kept foot. All of them must be an inch, or all of them must be in foot, as you like. So what do you think? Everything will be an inch, so I will multiply it by 12. Your value of Rn Nine point eight. What is the row required? <coughs> row required equal. I am done with R N. <laughs> row required equal point eight five. Anybody remember what is the value of FC prime? That's 4,000. 4,000 is 4. I would like to make everything in cap. Uh, divided by F yield, 60,000. Mm -hmm. 60. 1 minus square root. 1 minus 2 Rn. Your Rn, 9.8. Divided by 0.85. F prime C, 4. I can get my row required. What is the value? So 1, mm, no, 2 times 9.8 divided by Yeah. Is it negative or positive? Negative. You know what is uh, wrong here? This one is square. Rn. M ultimate phi B, B square, not D only. So this value will be completely different. 175 times 12 divided by 0.9 phi 14 phi. 0.57. 0.58. Yeah, 0.57. 158. So this value, 0.58. That makes sense. Find two divided by plus one under square root. Divide BD. So area still required will be row required time B time D. So 0.01 time 14 time 17. Inch, inch. So your area still will be 
n, I'm sorry, this is not n squared. This one will be n squared, 2.5 n squared. What do you think about the next step? How you many rivers? I'm sorry? How many rivers? But before, how many rivers? I need to check something. Uh, I need to check that this area is still within range. the minimum and the maximum area still. We have here to limit area steel minimum. You cannot go be uh, uh, blue this one. We have area steel maximum. You cannot exceed this amount. So I would like to be sure my calculated, my required area steel, which equal 2.5 inches square in between the two limit. So please do it. Be sure what is the value of row minimum, what is the value of row maximum, what is the value of area steel maximum, what is the value of area steel maximum, uh, minimum. You will find this one in between. Area steel minimum and area steel maximum. So I think Finally, if this check is okay, finally, your beam will be 14 inch, 20 inch. Your steel required here 2.5. I think you can pick three, number nine. Number nine, area equal one inch square. So, 2.5 divide 1 inch square equal 2.5 bars. You can round it to 3 bars. So number of bars would be 3 number 9 bars. Here is your design. So one more thing. We have only geometric of your building span, how much load actually we got or calculated to our dead load, our life load not given, sometimes not given, maybe given or not given. So based on your life load and the uh, dead load, you can get your ultimate load. From ultimate load, I got the ultimate moment or factored moment, M ultimate. From this one, I uh, get Rn, then row required, then area steel required. Be sure that your area is still within the limit. Area is still minimum and the maximum. If it's okay, then convert your area still to number of bars. Finally, here is your design. For, uh, remember, if your cross section not given, your width can be assumed between 12 to 15 inch. Your depth or thickness based on the table given. Uh, based on what type of beam, simply supported, continuous from one side, from two sides, can deliver, whatever. This uh, example is actual design example. Do you assume uh, phi or B 0.92? Yes, I assumed phi 0.9. Because I used the row required all the time give you Phi point one. Okay. If you have much steel reinforcement, this phi will be reduced a little bit, maybe six to five or something like that. What's the time right now? So right now you can go through your homework, everything remaining 